Once more, it's time to ask the eternal question. Huh? Can you help me? Please save them. Oh, I'm gonna get fired for this. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 pieces of video game logic that don't make sense. If you have information about a threat to national security, you gotta tell us. For this list, we're examining more tropes and cliches of gaming that seem to exist without reasonable explanation, contradicting conventional logic and raising eyebrows in some fashion. From simple matters of gravity to mechanics that never seem to go out of style, these recurring trends have certainly gotten our attention, if only because they puzzle and confound us. Okay, it just jumped. Count to five. Just pull the cord. How hard could that be? Number 10. Didn't I just kill you? As far back as gaming's earliest days, the threats of enemies respawning the second you leave the room have been a constant. Sometimes players are merely faced with a finite but overwhelming number of foes attacking in waves. Other times it's an unending barrage that only ceases when the player dies. Everyone who's played Castlevania will know that sometimes you get just too close to the edge and all of a sudden you're in the other room and all those enemies you just spent all that time killing are back. Interesting. No matter the exact form though, it's hard to justify why we're doing battle with unyielding, borderline supernatural adversaries in a great deal of games. Number 9. Rich Wildlife Don't fret about finances, the great outdoors have got you covered. Known as the money spider trope, this entails animals and monsters somehow carrying money or other treasure for players to claim in combat. As far back as the earliest role playing games, gold and other riches could be looted from the corpses of deadly beasts. Perhaps the thinking is that some of these creatures consumed wealthy humans and thus are accidental inheritors of that wealth, but that's quite a stretch for a lot of reasons. The bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Number 8. What's with all the lit torches? Oh god. No. 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 Maybe ancient locales have regular cleaning staff, thousands of years after the fall of their creators. Hey, be careful. This place is crawling with Dark Force users. Games such as Tomb Raider, for all their merit, tend to avoid answering the question of why long abandoned tombs are still lit with candles and torches. In certain cases, it could be chalked up to implying current inhabitants, but more often than not, this is an unexplained circumstance that wouldn't be that hard to contextualize. Magically imbued fire, a secret tribe, a sign of other travelers passing through, there are a lot of possibilities to consider, but so little time. Number 7. The Double Jump <laughs> Ah, gravity, thou art a fickle and malleable entity. At least, that's the impression that gaming gives off when it grants players the power to make an additional jump while they're airborne. While certainly versatile and engaging, it also has the consequence of calling into doubt any game's supposed adherence to the laws of reality. Games featuring mid-air dashing or trajectory-changing abilities, such as Star Wars The Force Unleashed, only exasperate the matter by implicitly relying on magic or vaguely defined energy sources. Science can't help you here. Number 6. Fix Fire with Fire When in doubt, apply flames or smack with a heavy tool. Those tuned into multiplayer oriented games may have noticed that when vehicles are set ablaze, they can be restored to normal with the use of a blowtorch or similar device. Then there's the case where players can fix gravely damaged objects by hitting them enough with a wrench. What's even more bizarre though is that some of these tools can double as weapons with little if any change in the animation. Number 5. Smoke Inhalation? What's that? Reloading. Reloading. Video games can be fantastical and stretch reality to its limits, there's definitely no question of that. Yet, it's always a bit unusual when, in games, certain characters must flee from burning structures, they're not impeded or even negatively affected by smoke. No, 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 no! Dialogue and scripted sequences may make reference to their predicament, throwing in a cough or a gasp, but in regards to gameplay, no effort is made to simulate the experience. <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Here's a golden opportunity to grasp that mantle of realism, but few have tried their hand at it. Burn! 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 
Number four, magic magazines. We'd never guessed that the military forces in gaming had a mastery of such wizardry and wonder. In all seriousness, this wasteful habit of tossing aside partially used magazines while reloading is weird enough before one realizes that they don't lose any bullets throughout this process. And yet, it's accepted as the norm by virtually every single first-person shooter, regardless of overall quality or attention to detail. Whether a game aims for pseudo-realism or more stylized action, it's almost guaranteed to beat your waste-free gun reloading without raising a single eyebrow. You killed many men today, huh? Yes! <laughs> we all did! Number three, time heals all wounds. <sighs> Popularized in the 2000s by series such as Halo and Call of Duty, regenerating health has become an industry trend that has long since transcended specific franchises or even genres. From a design standpoint, it makes a certain amount of sense. Developers want their games to be tightly paced, and backtracking for healing items might impede progress. But making game heroes and heroines regain health over time has the effect of threatening suspension of disbelief. How can one buy into a game purporting to be realistic or reality adjacent when characters magically recover from brutal injury by simply waiting five seconds? Come on, Frank. Come on, we're getting out. Number two, bikini armor. I uh, think I'm missing a few pieces here. Now this one is strange, you gotta admit. More than a few games feature character customization and player chosen armament, with a strange correlation forming between the amount of skin covered and potential defense against attack. Citizen, I used to be an adventurer like you. However, with regards to female characters, there was a trend of skimpier costumes equaling greater resistance to damage or access to useful attributes. Setting aside that this defines the entire purpose of armor, it also plays into a greater phenomenon of fan service being the primary or only reason for a given character's design. It's not to say that all these characters are bad or just there for boobs, but, you know, this has caused some heated arguments. I will be grateful when I have something that keeps swords from going through my vital organs! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, one man army syndrome. Whoever said chivalry was dead, it's no secret that grand scale games where massive armies clash can be taxing on whatever hardware they inhabit. Hence why so many titles choose to keep battles kind of close and personal. I said an intruder, and one, one guy. One guy has been killing you all by the hundreds. However, such restrictions can get ridiculous at times. For example, in Assassin's Creed, it's fairly common for a crowd of guards to attack the player at one time. Conventional wisdom suggests that an army can, and should, overwhelm singular foes. Yet enemies in gaming choose to instead divide up and wait for their turn to fight. We'll never quite understand this one. I have heard reports that you useless morons have been attacking one at a time. Why? Just everybody get him at once. Do you agree with our list? This is so not cool. What logic in video games doesn't make sense to you? For more reflective top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I like those types of areas. Fun, easy, and a prize at the end. Uh.